Inventory, every coin was wisely spent. Hey, you want the medicine's more potent, so the price needs to match. The medicine's more potent. Those techniques. Inventory, shipments, deliveries.
Well, victory is deserved. Present. Your command? You're not even worth getting up for. Well, victory is deserved. belongs to each and every warrior.
found on the battlefield. Oh. Wisdom accumulates and develops just like tree. Oh. Wow, a promotion! Without the salary increase. Everyone must pay a price. What is the next quest? Well, victory is deserved. Come out, my son, and fight for me! Well, victory is deserved. Come out, my son, and fight for me! What is the next quest?
come out to my side and fight for me. Well, victory is deserved. Hold it right there! See this? It's the emblem of the Heroic Order. Now tell me who sent you. What exactly are your orders? Please have mercy. Lord Franz paid us to serve as guards. Go find our captain. He's the one carrying the contract. Only the captain knows. The rest of us lowly foot soldiers have all been assigned to the outskirts. So, money's all that matters to you guys, huh? Go tell your captain that your job here is over. You can go find work somewhere else now. What? What do you mean? Lord Franz didn't pay us this month? Uh, arrested? The news will be posted all over Hollistone tomorrow, if you don't believe me. If you still want to give your life to Lord Franz, that's your choice. Just know that you'll be doing it for free. So think about it. This way, this looks like where Lord Franz keeps his treasures. Well, victory is deserved. Well, victory is deserved. Silence. Come out, my son, and fight for me! Well, victory is deserved.
Well, victory is deserved. You there! Tell me about these grapes right now! Calm down! Why are you suddenly reacting so intensely? Are you the one spreading rumors about Lord Franz getting arrested? Oh, what a load. Aside from being filthy rich, the guy's got connections with nobles all over the kingdom. Do you think he'd get locked up so easily? Once they let him go, the first thing he's gonna do is ask if we've done our jobs. So stay out of our business. Answer me! Did Lord Franz plant these grapes too? When were they planted? The guy who worked the previous shift says that he planted them with some woman in black three years ago. Shut your trap, idiot. Don't tell them anything else. We ain't got any reason to answer you. Now scram. Three years ago? Wasn't that before Southville planted their grapes in mass? If so, well, that means my hometown? But how did this happen? I have to find out. Considering they're connected to Southville's grapes, we should investigate. And if they aren't willing to talk, we'll have to try something else. Relax. I won't go too hard on them. Well, victory is deserved. Sorry. I must have gotten a little carried away. The truth is, I've seen similar magic in my hometown before. What? When did I tell you? Your memory is really impressive. <laughs> if only those guards were better at fighting than running away. Maybe then I could have beaten a few more answers out of them. I have a theory, Magister Merlin. I'm sure you've already thought of it, but would you mind listening? Those mercenaries mentioned a woman in black appearing here alongside Lord France three years ago. This would have been before Southville began planting gemvine grapes. This place may be where they first tested these grapes. That's why this place ended up like this. Because gemvine grapes siphon the magic from the earth. You're as humble as you are wise, Magister Merlin. You guided us towards each of these clues, knowing that we would eventually figure things out. In any case, we can't let these gemvine grapes continue to spread. Otherwise, Southville will end up just like this place. I wouldn't mind lighting up the entire field if I had to. I wouldn't mind lighting up the entire field if I had to. I wouldn't mind lighting up the entire field if I had to. I wouldn't mind lighting up the entire field if I had to. But will burning these grapevines really solve the problem? They're full of magical energy, after all. Hmm... Lady Muriel has a point. With how much power they've leached out of the land, I suspect these grapes would only regenerate if we tried to destroy them. Regenerate? Does that mean the grapes in Southville can regenerate too? Those have clearly been improved somehow. Even ordinary villagers with no magical talent would notice if sinister-looking grapes like this were planted all around them. I see. And how are we supposed to get rid of these grapes? Any ideas? Of course. After all, he is the Great Merlin. Indeed. Even without your memories, you are still the mighty Merlin. And my ingenious teacher.
What is the next quest? Everyone must pay the price. Don't hurry! Your delivery's coming up! Well, victory is deserved. Well, victory is deserved. You're not even worth getting up. Come out, my son, and fight for me! Well, victory is deserved. surrounded by runes. I think those mercenaries are guarding something over there. Stop right there, you lot. Do I have to keep saying it? Look, Lord Franz has been... I know exactly what happened to Lord Franz. Then why are you still blocking our way? Are your lives really worth the money he paid you? Or maybe he promised you riches beyond your wildest dreams if you protected this place. Because let me tell you... You are dreaming if you believe him. I don't know what we're guarding here, and I don't care to know what you're doing here. But a deal's a deal. 
We were paid to guard this place, and that's what we're going to do. You don't need to uphold a contract with Lord Franz, you know. He's not exactly a good person. Our honor depends on it. What kind of future will we have as mercenaries if we abandon our post simply because our client got arrested? So please, leave now before we're forced to carry out our duties. I understand. You're not wrong for being loyal, but you placed your loyalty on the wrong person. Draw your weapons. Well, victory is deserved. is deserved.
Well, victory is deserved. What is the next quest? Uh, quick, more Come out and fight for me! Well, victory is deserved. Silence. What is the next quest? We fought our hardest, but it still wasn't enough. We surrender. We have no way of upholding our part of the contract in the face of overwhelming power. I will order my men to gradually retreat. Do as you wish here. He's gone. I guess he wasn't such a bad person after all. General Hogan appreciates honorable fighters like him. Maybe the Heroic Order will have use for their services someday. That must be the place where you hid the seal all those years ago. I can sense its residual magical energy. Even after years and years of being drained of its power, I can still sense the warm determination woven into its magic. It was this very magic that sparked the flames in my heart. That flame has never been extinguished, Magister. Not even once. Now go. Cast your magic as you did in the past and let its golden warmth wash over this land once more. to memorize the incantation. Would you mind doing it one more time? And that, everyone, is the power of Merlin. I can sense a faint stirring deep within the earth. A heart that should have stopped beating long ago has begun to pulse with new vitality. Does that mean the seal has been mended? Will the cold weather finally go back to normal? In a matter of days, yes. This land needs some time to heal. As the cold, stiff earth regains consciousness, warmth and vitality will return once more. Thank goodness it's finally over. We should go back and report everything to General Hogan. It looks like I'll have a lot of paperwork to do. Wait, aren't we missing someone? Where'd the rabbit go? He didn't just run off, did he? I know he's a natural escape artist, but he really helped us out. I was even going to ask General Hogan to reward him for his troubles. Yeah, we should look for him outside of camp. I just hope nothing happened to him.
Oh, it's you guys. The wind is calling me. It brought me a message. It seems the situation in my homeland has become even worse. The Dark Forest. It's a sacred forest blessed by the Deer Spirit and protected by the stars themselves. It's also the place where I grew up. It used to be such a beautiful, harmonious place. But then, the corruption appeared. A filthy magic that can never be eradicated. One that grows back whenever we cut it down. Finding a way to purge the corruption is the whole reason I left my home in the first place. I've been wandering around looking for help ever since. I've spoken to a spire mage and even a druid in a cabin. But the answer's always the same. It's as if the corruption has a life and will of its own and refuses to be removed from our lands. So, when I heard there was a powerful mage living near Rihan, I figured I would test my luck. That's when I discovered those strange grapes. The magical instability in Ryham looked just like the corruption in the Dark Forest. I thought that if I followed you, I might find a way to get rid of the corruption. At first, I wasn't very hopeful. I didn't expect to come face to face with the legendary Merlin. Nor did I expect you to purge the corruption in these lands. But I saw it all for myself with my own eyes. If anyone can save my homeland, it's the great and powerful Merlin. So please, Magister Merlin, I'm begging you. Will you deliver my home from certain doom, just like you did with Ryham? What? You're... You're the all-powerful Merlin, aren't you? Oh well. Please, save my home. Save the Dark Forest. Really? You're willing to help? Yes, I've been chased by monsters through the mountains, attacked by Grooglins, and even poisoned. But now, it's all worth it. Alright. It looks like reporting to General Hogan will just have to wait. Then again... General's orders were to protect you. He never said for how long, though. Even though you hardly need protecting, I've always preferred to carry out my orders to the best of my abilities. Are those two hamsters of yours still around? Chippy is always around, so long as my Magister needs me. Hmm. How could I possibly leave Magister Merlin's side? <laughs> Glad to hear it. Now go stock up on supplies. I'll be waiting for you on the Hollowstone docks. If we're going to the Dark Forest, the quickest way is to board a ship and travel north. Isn't that right, Bunny Ears? Well, that's right. May the wind guide our way. Thanks, Mer... I mean... my friend... and everyone. Come on, Bunny Ears. Let's get you home. He's running the show. You were able to save him, I see. Yes, my lady. My apologies. I never intended for this eyesore to end up in your presence. I will remove him from your sight at once. No, please! I beg you, give me one more chance. <laughs> one last chance, hmm? Yes, yes, just one last chance. I will not disappoint you, my lady. <laughs> I hope not, for your sake. My lady, pardon me, but I've seen you kill for less. He did help us with our little problem, so it wasn't a total failure on his part. I'll give him one last chance. All that matters is our little experiment on the other side of the dark forest.
Well, victory is deserved. Victory is deserved. Both techniques and tactics are indispensable. General Hogan, we're back! It all went well! Chippy, you're getting too excited! Of course Magister Merlin was going to fix the seal. Right? I don't need details. It's an honor to have you here, helping Ryan. Come with me. It's time for a little celebration of the Traveler's Light. Cake, good brew, and freshly caught eels from the lake. Also, here are some nuts for you to enjoy, Chippy. <sighs> it's not often that the General is this generous. Unfortunately, we won't be able to enjoy this feast with you. You're not saying no to my hospitality, are you? The Dark Forest? Uh, you mean the woodlands north of Hollister? I heard there's been trouble in that region lately. The Wilders hold dominion in those lands. Even though it's only across the river, as a magistrate of the Lightbearer Empire, I have no authority beyond Hollister. The Wilders hold dominion in those lands. Even though it's only across the river, as a magistrate of the Lightbearer Empire, I have no authority beyond Hollistone. General, long story short, he has been invited by the Wilders to help solve a crisis that is very similar to what Ryham has gone through. So, something strange is happening over there as well. Don't worry about it. I understand that nothing is more important than the safety of the people. I'll pray to Jura for you. I hope your journey goes well, and you return safely. Magister, are you leaving without me again? Magister Merlin! Are you embarking on a new journey? I was talking to Miss about the principles of the magic circle, but I finished you were gone. Miss Muriel, are you going with Magister Merlin? I'm sorry if I was wasting your time earlier. No need to apologize. I'm well aware that Magister Merlin is always running off to find the next disaster. Like oil and water, 
We can never mix. I'm destined to be without her company. Never mind. I'm used to waiting for him. At least this time you won't forget me, right, Magister? That's all I needed to hear. Magister Merlin, I'll remain here with Miss Muriel and observe the results of the seal's restoration. We'll be able to see Ryham flourish once again. Dura above, wherever you may roam or stay, may your magic light the way. What's wrong, bunny ears? Is there an issue with the boat? Nope, the boat's fine. It's at the docks. Hasn't moved since I got here. Well, things have been a little messy in the dark forest lately. Do you really have to go? We're going there to fix it. You? I guess, since you're a wilder, maybe you won't have a problem. Here's the deal. I'll get you there, but I won't do anything else. Sure, sure. Same rules as before, then. Ah, oh, please tidy up a bit more. These are my guests, and I can't have them stuffed into the cargo hold like I was. I didn't have a lot of money. It was fine, but there's no way I'd let you do that. Then it's time to set sail. Dark Forest, I have returned. territory, but it's swarming with light bearers everywhere. Plus, people here seem like they've been wallowing in the mud. All grubby and upset. Since you have a ship, it's best to depart from here. If there's space on your ship, kindly consider taking these refugees too. Listen up, Corin, my friend. Regardless of your identities and origins, this place doesn't seem fit for camping. It's pretty damp and cold by the river. You should take everyone to the forest and let my people take, take, take care, care of them. Those the bunny bunny ears. Ears. Are, are, are you one of the fire You bet I, I am. Thanks, thanks to my, to my ears. ears, I was I able to hear you say, say your name. name. You, you are a shishu exclusive and are forced to have refuge to leave the dark dark forest. forest. I, I had enough chance to sort some doubts out of you. Look, look at the weak, weak and elderly. Is this the wildest way of welcoming me as guests? What happened to your one once useful and benevolent demeanor? Oh, 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 oh. What is it? Enough, Enough talk. talk. I am taking them into the forest, the forest no, no matter, matter what, what it takes. takes.
Ow, ouch, my arm. You're, you're injured. That's it, cheap. My blade has not touched you. Touch you. Oh, oh, my. You're, you're, uh, how about the listening thing? Before we're dying in the action. <laughs> a sword, a sword you there to touch on hamsters is you. Who are you?
matter why I don't just need to help out. So no need is a sword. I can get into the forest and talk to until the other person is charged. Once the gate is lifted, you'll be free to enter the forest and to liberate. Is this the time I'm supposed to He's fine now. All thanks to the other person found. Since there's still hope of getting into the forest, I will stay here a little longer and do my best to take care of everyone. Mrs. I noticed there are still so many elderly people kids hit tent tents. Are all of you of you taking care of this camp here? When the golems attacked our village, the men insisted on having the elderly and children evacuate first, so only the mothers came along. We need someone to stay here and ensure they're safe. Considering their shortage of supplies and manpower, leaving them here you could put them in danger. Whether it's listing the exclusive eating, eating, or removing the corruption, there's no time to lose. I will stay safe here. Mr. Corn, Lord Thornton, and you, you, please head to the forest first. Sorry, sorry. Allow me to go back and my word of sake in protecting these poor folks. The rogue order truly lives up to the ideals of justice and bravery. They live in. I'm counting on you to protect Clementine and the rest. Don't worry. Anyone who dares to lay a finger on the Manchester shall face the my sight first.
It's a good, good thing, thing they, they stayed stay behind. behind. These drug runs could pose threats to refugees. refugees. During the patrol earlier, I noticed that the, that the drug, drug runs are out here are more violent than usual. Drug runs are going crazy, crazy for no apparent reasons. reasons. And strange crops absorbing ley line magic. This, this is just, just like what happened in Holostone. Nonsense. Why would there be a connection between them? Perhaps the wild was only imposed the exclusion edict to protect us from the drug runs in this area. Uh, hmm. <laughs> I suppose that's too good of an explanation. The drug runs in the forest weren't this aggressive before I left. Could it be that the from Ryan have grown around here too? Oh, I can't wrap my head around this. Do you have any clues? Oh, right. I, I remember this one near my spot. Apart from here, here, corruption is also spreading in the depths of the forest. It's called corruption because it affects plants, making them look like they think hey. Clearing out the decay parts won't prevent them from regenerating. Much like the grapes near Ryan. Words may not suffice. Come, come, come me and I'll show you. Using the method that worked for the vineyard. I'm counting on you. Besides you, I can't imagine that anyone else or any other way to completely eradicate them. Please do your best. Uh, are you aware that a corrupted route requires regular recruiting? Or 
of stone regenerate. Normally, Normally it takes several weeks, weeks for the corrupted root to regrow after a moon moon. Yet, yet, presently, they have managed to reach the current state in a manner of death. As you've seen, he does have the power to eliminate them. It's best if you see it that way. As a wind whisperer, my duty lies in the delivery of messages. And, and could I implore you to visit a station on the Dutch Patroller? Discussing with Captain Lightner, who is in charge of eradicating these corrupting roots, could significantly improve the effectiveness of information sharing. Like a... It's nothing. Mr. Coroc, you seem like you require some help, too. The wind brings in the cries of distant refugees. <laughs> Took you some time to remember the plight of the refugees, huh? You lot are a far cry from the wilders I've ever met. Please, quell your hair. The exclusion of the gate was issued by Master Ian and the Thorn Guards are merely carrying out the order. I, as a wind whisperer, possess no influence to contest their determination. Captain Lyco will articulate their particulars. Come with me, if you will.
Well, victory is deserved. I heard from the controllers that there were bandits nearby, so I hurried over. Lawson is ridiculous. Years go by, not a peep from you. Not even a letter. Brian sent you messages through the wind, and you just ignored us. Well, he did respond with a single word. Acknowledged. Well, um, I was in a hurry to bring us back a savior. Oh, sorry. Are these your friends? Hi, I'm Lyka, captain of the Dust Patrollers. Lawson has been a bit of a troublemaker since he was young. I'm sorry if it was any trouble for you along the way. Come on, sister, it's been three years. Can't we catch up for a moment without digging into the past? Uh-huh. We both have the same ears. Despite the similar ears, Lawson and I are different. I don't have the innate talent for wind whispering. Let's chit-chat later. Are you the captain of the Dust Patrollers? Are you aware that the bandits were deliberately causing trouble for the Wilders, purposefully stirring up conflicts between the two communities? With the exclusion edict in place, skilled bandits can vanish easily, but defenseless refugees have nowhere to run. Where are your arrows pointing then? Sir, I'm aware of the bandits. Then why? I've been meaning to apologize for this. The Thorn faction has always leaned towards conservatism, not wanting outsiders to disturb the peace of the forest. A while back, the Thorn Guard proposed blocking the entrance to the forest. There were rumors later on saying humans brought in the corrupted seeds. With corruption spreading in the forest and all those bandit problems, it gave them more reasons to act. Even in the once liberal dust faction and the neutral wind faction, more and more people are starting to agree with the Thorn Guards. What? What about Granny Donny and Old Man Arden? Did they not stand up against the Thorn Guards? The Three Sages. Lawson, the Dark Forest is a very different place now than it was when you left. However, sir, despite the internal strife amongst the Wilders, it shouldn't be a reason for us to fail our refugee friends. I should apologize to you and those who are suffering. Factional disputes, I see. At least there were no armed clashes. You do have your reasons. However, those refugees have been driven to the docks with nowhere to go. Can anything be done? Laika is the mage that Lawson invited to cleanse the corrupted roots. Should we guide them to Lunador? Please inform Master Dana, leader of the Dasa faction, that the situation might bring about a turning point to this whole ordeal. Really? Can you really clear out the corrupted roots? That's remarkable. The patrollers had to keep a fire going for hours just trying to cleanse one spot. Even then, those roots soon grow back again. But your alteration to the magic flow can substantially decelerate the pace of regeneration. In that case, the patrollers would finally have time to help the refugees. Good sir, let me take you to Lunadorf right now.
Victory is deserved. Well, victory is deserved. Well, victory is deserved. You desire an audience, and what do you want? been away from home for so long, but the Lucent tree is still so beautiful. Let me proudly present to you the grand tree with a canopy resembling the night sky and sparkling with a galaxy of stars. The Lucent tree. It is said that this is a divine tree planted by the goddess of the earth and the rivers, Misate herself. Those who first arrived in the dark forest laid the foundation for the villages beneath its majestic canopy, paving the way for the prosperity we witness today. The pioneers of Lunadorf even planted a small tree, inspired by the great Lucent tree. But there's nothing special about that one. Well, let's pause the nostalgia here. We'll be arriving at Lunadorf soon.
Well, victory is deserved. Not time! <laughs> 